Hello everybody, it's Dano here, and today I'll be showing you a few little tips and tricks that I have found about this game, State of Decay. Some things that the game doesn't really tell you, but we it's very, very useful to know. Lucky. Yeah, I know. You know Shush. what's awesome? Outposts. We should set up more. Sorry, she's asking about the outposts. I'll get to that in a second. First, if you can see here, I've got a rucksack on my back. This you can find by um, searching, say paint barrels or stuff like that, but they'll be glowing white. Alright, they'll actually be glowing a bit. Alright, then once you have the rucksack on your back, usually you got to run it back here to your main base, right? Wrong. If you have a vehicle, you can go up to the back of the vehicle, click E to go into the vehicle storage, and right here is a rucksack. You can either stash your stuff in the back, or you can click on the rucksack, click space, stash it in there, see? I've now got more of it in there. So you can get so much supplies and bring it back to your base so quickly. And I'll be showing you... Yeah, actually, I'll show you that right now. Alright, it's really this easy. Once you've got all the stuff here inside the vehicle, drive up here to your house. And you should see this symbol right here near one of the parking lots. Now, if you just drive up to it... Found this while I was out. Ooh, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. Everything has just been delivered. So that is one really quick and easy way to get the supplies. Another one, right? Is to set up an outpost. I'll just go inside this crappy building here. I don't need it for anything, but hey. For the case of the video, I'll quite right do here. my best. Alright, now if I just click left alt, it should bring up this menu right here. I can either call for scavengers in this location. I can establish an outpost. So I can make this place here an outpost. I can relocate my home base to this place. I can do construction advice, which completes your current building and upgrade facilities 100%. It just completely completes up. it. Charlie Actual, this is Charlie Six. We got a bunch of civilians heavily engaged with Zed about a half click down from our position, requesting permission to assist. No. Uh, negative, Charlie Six. <laughs> Say again, negative. Remain on station. All right, this I one is your extras. I do not have any extras are getting their yet. Asses handed to them. I think that comes later on in the Charlie game. Actual? But this is just what Charlie I figured actual. out so far. Um, yeah, so that's how to call for survive, call for scavengers, establish an outpost. You just left alt. All right, next, going onto your character right here. If I just click on my character. It tells you all about him. He loved hiking and all this stuff. He's a natural athlete. Blah 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 blah. Alright, here we go. Special, uniques, and utility things, right? You scroll down. Alright, I can choose a specialization. Rage gives a small amount of stamina back when you kill an enemy in melee. Okay, utility skill. Shove or power kick. I want to get that. So I'm going to click Q and do that. I'm going to click Q on that one. I now have... Alright, I'm going to hold Q. I've now got that. A special technique. Um, I'm going to be doing that because I like to use melee a lot. Defensive skill. Uh, I'd like to body slam enemies or let's kill two enemies nearby. Um, for a defensive skill, uh, do I want to kill one or go for two? Um, I'm going to go for that. Yep, there we go. Now, you can do this with all your characters, but in order to do that, you know, you need to make them your primary and then just scroll down to, um, find out about that. Now, for the specialization, I am going to get him to, um, master bats, blunt weapons. Because I want him to use blunt weapons. All right now, that's how you do it, right? You got to click Q and then you got to hold Q. Next, for the um, for your home base, right? You can have I can have two vehicles in here, right? Uh, this here available actors. Let's see, train outsiders, other community with firearms. Yep, and experience shooting. Extend a safe area around a home with a little sharp shooting. Okay, I'm going to train outsiders. That there will also give me a little bit more ammunition as well, which is brilliant. Right here, if I go here to the radio room, I can either 
offer refuge, which attempts to make contact with a new group of survivors. It's about food caches, all this stuff. Let's see what I'm running low on. I am running low on... Oh, jeez, I'm definitely running low on ammunition. So now if I just go for the ammunition, ask about that, it'll take 10 minutes, but then she'll get back to me about that. All right, uh, this here helps out with the sleeping. Available actions for this. I'm gonna do the big meal. Now you can do something with absolutely every room here. Available actions, I need a library. I don't know how the hell to get a library. Uh, yeah, I can't actually make a library right now, which really sucks. Uh, but that's just a few of the things that you can do here. Uh, I can make suppressors. God damn it, Charlie Actual, these people are gonna die without help. Uh, negative, Charlie Six. Hold position. Alright, so you can do something with nearly every single room. I suggest always doing something. So this one here, I'm going to make that. Yeah, always try to be doing something because it doesn't cost anything to do it and it does help you out immensely. 